this is how it is. This is the Roth style. So, let's get cracking. Alright. First step. Get yourself a blender. Chuck. Get yourself some really good water. This stuff's awesome. It's from Norway. It's a uh, natural artesian. And get yourself some dates. I got some awesome dates during uh, season now. So dates will be my sweetener. And as you can tell in my fridge, I have a bunch of greens. But I also got like 15 pounds of uh, hemp seeds. <clears throat> so these hemp seeds is where we're going to get the, the actual milk from and it's gonna be really cool because uh, usually you see people make milk with uh, nuts like almonds or cashews. This is going to be seeds so let's get cracking. Alright so as you can see these little guys are hemp seeds and they're known for their amazing texture and taste. It's nutty and also for the richness in their omega 3, 6s and 9s fatty acids which are really beneficial for skin, hair and nails as you can tell. Smooth skin and nice hair. Uh, okay back to the recipe. So this is a pre-measured cup one cup of hauled, organic, cold-pressed, raw hemp seeds. And I'm going to stick this in the blender, like so. And we are going to add to that three cups of uh, charged water. And we're going to do that right now. Yeah, three cups. So the ratio I like to use is uh, one to three. So one cup of seeds for three cups of water. And I found that that's the best ratio. I call it Tali's golden ratio for hemp milk because it's that good. And in here we have some awesome dates. So with the dates you gotta pretty much um, take the pit out, you know, the pits in here and you gotta just stick it in here. So I do about five dates. So five, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put five dates in here. Good thing I'm left-handed by the way. It actually makes this easier. So you're gonna put the dates in here, cap it, put in the blender and it's going to be the most amazing thing in the world so this is how I pit no, this is the pit of the date and as you can tell it's really cool it's uh, full of life so this is the fourth one that we're putting in here and so now the ratio is one, three, five so it's one cup of hemp milk. No, one cup of hemp seeds, three cups of water, and five dates. So one, three, five. It's all odd numbers. So we're gonna do that and next thing you are going to see is going to be some awesome transformed hemp milk, which I like to call Tali's milk, which is great. All right, so after about a minute of blending this, uh, we're going to get that. Yummy, yummy. Wow. That's amazing. Beautiful. So now the next process is uh, straining this. You could get a cheesecloth or a hemp cloth, which you can use to strain it. Now, for simple purposes, I just have your normal strainer, which is pretty much a mesh. 
the strainer and I have a bowl. So what I'll do is I'm going to pour this into the strainer. We're going to strain out all the seeds and we're going to filter out the hemp milk. And we're going to do that right now. So as you can see, the milk is draining out into this fine white liquid that is pretty much the finished product. So whatever you have left you can use for cheese like a hemp cheese which is raw. You can use it also as a base for a really good pie crust or a dessert or you could just eat it. It's so good and the next stage is going to be bottling and refrigerating for later use or for now. So for now we're going to kind of strain this and get the milk out and enjoy. So this is your pulp as you can see. It's really nice and there's the almond milk. So with the pulp what you can do is you can just easily put it on a nice plate like this kind of pat it down, get all the excess water out, hemp milk actually. And this is actually a really good crust for a dessert. Now you could put this in your fridge or you could eat it as is. It's really good, it's sweet. Like a treat. That's just one of many things you can do with the with the pulp of of any type of nut milk or seed milk. And this is the almond milk. So we are going to just mix it up a little bit. Make sure it's all nicely mixed. Have a taste here. Mmm. Wow, that's phenomenal. And the next stage is bottling. And voila. And there you go. You have an amazing bottle of Tali's milk. And this is my favorite hemp milk. It's actually the best thing for you. This is about three cups. And you just refrigerate it, and then you have yourself an amazing, mouth-watering, delicate treat. Well, I'm off to discover more amazing treats for you guys, and to possibly put on a t-shirt and some uh, other stuff down there. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this session. And again, I am Tali, and... I love the raw foods.